Hey friends, welcome to my channel, Trying It With Jay. Today we're going to be trying one of my favorite recipes, the Thai green curry. I picked up this recipe in Thailand when I was there in November from the Pink Chili Thai uh, cooking school. I would definitely check them out whenever you're in Bangkok. They have great recipes to try out. They actually take it to the market to pick the ingredients yourself. This one, I love making this recipe and I hope you will enjoy watching me make it and I hope you'll be willing to try it out yourself. All the ingredients you can find in your local grocery store and your local Asian grocery store. They're everywhere. You can always find one. Just put into Google, Asian grocery near me, and you can find one. All the ingredients will be there. Let's get started. So we have ginger, which is a substitute for the galangal root. We have some lime. We're going to use the lime skin, some sweet basil, shallots, Thai eggplants, some serrano peppers and some red chili peppers which I substitute for the bags eye chilies and lemongrass. Dried white peppercorn, some coconut cream, shrimp paste, coconut milk, coriander powder, fish sauce, and cumin seeds. So here are all the ingredients we need for the curry paste and this is all going to go into the grinder. Alright, so to make the curry paste I will be using a vegetable chopper slash grinder. Um, traditionally they use it in the mortar for the pistol. That's how I made it when I was in the cooking class. I don't have one available and I couldn't really find a good affordable one to purchase. So we'll be using a chopper and hopefully it will give us the same effect. If you're using the mortar, you will make the you will, um, grind up the peppercorn, the cumin, and the coriander seeds first. But for now we're just gonna start off with the um, moist ingredients. So first we're just gonna add all our herbs in. So we're gonna put in uh, lemongrass, which I chopped up one stalk, <clears throat> one stalk of lemongrass. We're gonna add in our ginger, which is as I mentioned before, is a substitute for the galanga root. They are of the same family. Um, ginger is just a little stronger, I believe, so you use about half the recommended recipe. And I'm gonna put in my lemon skin. Put that in there. And I'm gonna add in my shallots and my garlic. I use one. The shallots I purchased were big, so I just used one of them, as you saw in the ingredients list. And I used about three cloves of garlic. Three pieces of garlic, I believe. Okay. And now we're ready. So then I'm just going to add in my white peppercorn and roasted cumin seeds. And so we're going to chop that together. And I'm gonna add in coriander powder. <clears throat> so I actually could not find um, coriander seeds or coriander root at my Asian grocery or my local grocery store. So I'm substituting with coriander powder, which should give us the same effect. Because it's, it's we're gonna put about half a teaspoon in here. And I'll add more if I need to. And then we're just gonna cover up. Lock this up and grind it. Up. So now I'm gonna add in my chilies. So I'm using my serrano peppers and my bird's eye chili, but in this case we're using the red chilies. And for the chilies, you add as much as you can tolerate. Serrano is not that spicy, but the red chilies are if you use the bird's eye chili. So you just add in as much as you think you can tolerate. Don't add too much if you can't handle too much. So we put the chilies in there. I'm gonna add in shrimp paste. The shrimp paste is optional, but it does have add in a nice flavor to it. I'm gonna add in about a tablespoon and a half because I do really love the taste of it. Um, so shrimp paste. So All right. So now to make our green curry sauce, put a little oil into your pan, and we're going to add in our 
curry paste that we just made. You can also use a blender and grind all the ingredients together. That's what if you don't have a chopper around, a blender of the works. I carry paste in. The oil is hot. You want to just kind of stir it, brown in the oil. Stir it so it's fragrant, and then you're going to add in your coconut cream. Use half a cup of coconut cream and mix it in there. And stir it until the oil separates. So you can see the oil separating. So I'm like, okay, so I see my oil has started separating. So I'm gonna add in my chicken. I pre wash I use chicken tenders, pre wash and season, and I'm just gonna cut them into small little cubes. Toss them in there. Stir fry the chicken in there. Put the chicken in the sauce. I'll cook the chicken right in the sauce. Just kind of stir fry, stir it around until the chicken turns white. That's when you know the chicken is cooked. It's coming out good so far. My chicken is cooking. I'm just going to give it a couple more minutes. Got to cook all the way through. The chicken is mostly cooked through. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in one cup of coconut milk. And then I'm going to add in my Thai eggplants. I want this to sit and boil. All right, so once you add in your coconut milk just and your Thai eggplants, you can also use the pea eggplants as well, add in there. Um, I didn't add that in because I don't like pea eggplants, so I omitted it, and I know my family's not going to eat it. But in the Thai eggplants, we would all enjoy. So just let it sit and boil. At your while it's boiling, I'm gonna add in my tofu. So I'm mixing in a little bit of tofu with my chicken. protein in there. Alright, once you bring it to a boil, after you added in your Thai eggplant and your tofu and coconut milk, now we're going to add in some fish sauce. Just a little bit of fish sauce, not too much because it is very fragrant, so be careful with it. I'm just going to kind of pour a couple of dabs in here from the bottom. So I'm going to add in one tablespoon of sugar. The shrimp get in there. It's very, very, very fragrant. So while that's boiling, we're going to add in the ca kaffir leaf lime leaves. As well. And our sweet basil. You can add in more chilies if you taste and you think it's not spicy enough for you. At this point, you can add in more chopped up red chili peppers. After you add in the last of your herbs, you just let it boil for five minutes and your green curry with chicken is basically ready to go. Hey friends, so there you have it. That's our green Thai curry. It came out delicious. I love it. I know my family's going to love it tonight. Give it a shot at home. Try it out and leave, a, leave it, um, a message in the comments. Let me know how it came out for you. If you like it, if it was too spicy, just be careful with the chilies. Add as much as you can handle. So if you want, you can add it a little bit at a time and taste as you go until you, you've reached your spice level. If you can't really handle spice, I will advise just adding in like one spice. But it came out great. Um, I hope you guys love watching this. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.